You could start. Oh, okay. Uh, could you ask me the question okay, again? Sure. <laughs> okay. I don't remember. No problem. Hi, I'm Queenie, and my internet username or internet name is Coco B, Coco B Art, and I study. Uh, I'm studying my master's in psychiatry, and I share my work on YouTube, and it's primarily in the medium of watercolor. I think in terms of art, I had an inclination towards it all throughout my life. I, there was a strong musical background. I was taught piano and played for many years and I write music sometimes. And I think I needed a different medium to express myself uh, during that period in university because I was experiencing a, Bouts of depression. Not, I don't think it was clinical depression, but that, like, I wasn't formally diagnosed with it. But um, I was feeling very restricted in graduate school, and uh, the lack of creativity that they allow in the in academia. So, having YouTube allowed me to express myself in a multi-dimensional uh, medium because YouTube is video, there's a visual element, there's an audio element, there's the actual painting element, so the tactile, uh, physical sensation of creating something, and each project was encompassing a specific moment where there was a, a beginning and an end to it, so I could have a, a micro journey to escape life for a bit, and then it just sort of became very addicting there wasn't that sort of freedom I found in, in academia where I was studying and I just perpetually went back to it again and again and it sort of flourished from there. Itself, I think are very there's a, an ethereal nature to it because after it dries um, it gets lighter and it fades so it's just that moment when you're actually painting where they're the most vibrant so I, I feel almost like there's, there's always a, a livelihood to it and a very organic uh, journey or relationship with why I like watercolor. There was this cancer patient that emailed me and told me like from all the pain of chemo she hasn't been sleeping since they started the treatment. But after watching me paint, she finally relaxed enough to sleep. And I think it's meaningful connections like this that make art worthwhile and uh, important to continue. <laughs> Just be you. Be, have, think of art as a platform to be authentic. To, to express yourself and I, I don't think you should conceptualize it as a right or wrong way of doing things, a right or wrong uh, medium or a right or wrong way of expressing yourself. It's just there, for, it's an open space for you to be yourself. There's a personal element to it because it, it's a. I think every piece is a self-portrait in a way, and a, a capsule of a, a moment in your own life. Uh, 
but at the same time when you share art because I think art is meant to be shared that's the social aspect so it's not either or I think it's both it's only when you don't share it I think is where it's much more just personal Art should be organic and it should flourish in its own sort of way and its own path. So if if there's a, a, an opportunity to continue sharing my work publicly, like in person, then maybe I would do that. If it's more of a, on an online platform, I would do that. It's art for me is just somewhere where I can express myself in a way that is more authentic and intimate. Uh, that I feel like I could not do in a societal occupation, occupational roles, and uh, so yeah, I would. I think it's just whatever happens. This is a part of my life that I don't want to chart out too strictly or envision strictly uh, what will happen. I think there's more fun that way to see just to how the future unfolds itself. Hard work. Okay, fine. She's leaving too. <laughs> she left.